Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. We're covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Monday, March 6th, 2023. Uh, in Sam Bankman Freed News, uh, on Friday, late on Friday, um, they put in his new con- proposed conditions of release. This while other people molder in jail, including Avi Eisenberg. Um, Sam Bankman Freed is going to be using SQL, Python, Zoom, because it's very important that he get his discovery. I totally agree, except that those who were detained have none of those programs. In fact, in the case of, for example, Joshua Schulte, not a laptop and apparently not a, not a typewriter either. So there's that. We'll see how Judge, uh, what Judge Kaplan says about it. Um, in the ongoing trial of the U.S. versus former Indiana Congressman Steve Booyer, uh, this morning docketed, Judge Berman has officially denied the motion for mistrial, uh, but he will read a curative instruction and will be there for it. Um, the noose is tightening. Uh, also, well, there's the, there's the beer trial, but we'll, 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 re- we'll return to that. There's the tax stone trial. It's a state trial just up the street from here. Um, podcaster, rapper, tax stone, Troy Avenue. Uh, it was hard to find, but we found it, and we covered it last week, and we're going to be doing our best this week. We're going to, in, in a new segment called the Downtown News Service of Inner City Press, look behind me, and you'll see a scaffolding on Duane and Lafayette at 10 o'clock, not that long from now. There'll be a press conference uh, involving the Manhattan Borough President and some city council people, unnamed. We don't know how many there'll be, about the scourge of scaffolding or trying to expedite scaffolding. We're not sure, but we'll see. Now, all politics is local, but let's go global. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, went to Iraq on a junket. He didn't go, to, of course, to the earthquake zone of Syria or Turkey, but he went to Iraq. And who did he meet with? Who did he take selfies with? Well, a U.S.-designated human rights abuser and a U.S.-designated terrorist. Yes, we've written the story and you can find it. We've tweeted the photo. Now, Antony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, this morning put out a statement about designating another Syrian, but no mention about the United Nations, which they praise so much taking selfies with U.S.-designated terrorists. We've appealed to re-enter the U.N. and ask this very question, which we'll ask in writing today, but they probably won't answer because the U.N. is totally corrupt, and I don't know what U.S. mission is doing about it. Okay, to be continued.